So in this video, we're just going to look at function, a function that can take something in and then do something with the data that it's given. Uh, so I've just started off with a, um, in main, just calling a function called hellos. And hellos is just a void function, so it doesn't return anything and it doesn't take anything in. So both of these things are void. And all it does is it's got an int um, count which we use in our while loop so that we can print uh, hello a set number of times and in this case we print it five times so that's all that this does and running this is just going to give us five hellos like so uh, so we're going to change this so that we can print any number of hellos and what what we need to do is to be able to, rather than having the int count set as five within the program, we need to be able to um, have count being passed in. So I'm going to remove this line from here, and instead of having this as void, I'm just going to say int count. So what I'm saying here is that you will be sent a number which you store in count and then I want you to do something with it and so whatever it's sent to the function in count it will use here to carry out the while loop now if I compile this then I'm going to get an error and the error is going to be around um, too few arguments in my call to hellos here and what that means is that now that I've changed the definition of the function here, when I call it, I need to give it a number inside the brackets. So let's give it the number 2 and compile this and then run it. And what that should do, we can have a guess at what that, that's going to do, is if I've given it the number 2, then it uh, stores 2 in its variable count and then it uses 2 um, for this this uh, condition here. So while 2 is greater than 0 it's going to carry on and then we reduce count. Uh, that's just our normal while loop. And there it is. So we've printed hello two times. So by doing this what, we're, what we've made by creating a function that takes us in an argument we're making our function more general. So rather than just being a function that will only print five hellos we can now state how many hellos we want printed. So we could have seven, so compile that and run that and we get more hellos or we can run it with just one and then uh, compile that and then run that and we just have the one hello being printed. So uh, this number one is uh, called a function argument. So what we're doing is we're calling the function hello with an argument one and in our function definition this int count this this is the parameter list uh, so this is the list of arguments that this function will be taking in